Hi, I'm Rob Cook with you on Weather Nation TV. We want to bring you the very latest coming news on El Nino, a uh, new forecast information coming out today. And for a lot of forecasters, it was something that many in the private sector really already predicted, but the National Weather Service joining many others and many other agencies here in the past 24 hours. This is our hot tweet of the day. National Weather Service Western Region says the El Nino watch has been canceled. Neutral conditions are favored for the winter now of 2012 and 2013. So what exactly does neutral mean and how confident are they that we will be in that type of pattern? Well, here's kind of some examples. Uh, using the data uh, off the computer runs that predict climate and, of course, the changes in the Pacific Ocean temperatures, you can see that the green bars, which represent a higher level of confidence, up there near 50 to 60 percent, that is towards the neutral side uh, this year, which would be a just normal winter pattern across the country. Uh, the red barbs, which are still close to that 35, 40 percent range all the way through uh, November, December, January, and then through into even March, that confidence much lower than, of course, the neutral side, and thus the change in the forecast recently. There's the reason why NOAA joined most other agencies. Well, if you look at the Australian model, which uh, back in late October was making predictions on the sea surface temperatures out in the South Pacific, it was latching on to the idea that, yes, we would stay within that neutral category. That's uh, less than one degree uh, of higher or below normal sea surface temperatures through the winter and then even into next spring. And it still seems to be leaning that direction. So in terms of sensible weather, what will be the impacts of this change? In a neutral winter weather pattern, we do see the polar jet being very active. It brings its cold weather to states that are normally used to it, like the Great Lakes. The northeast, you're more involved. And the wet weather meets that warm jet stream and the cold jet right across the east coast. So possibly that could mean more nor'easters throughout the winter season. We just saw one pretty early this season, that's for sure. In an El Nino pattern, you've got your wet weather across the south. In the southwest, California bodes very well with that, getting significant snows. Uh, it would be bad news, of course, if they don't get a big winter this year with the drought ongoing in many areas of the southwest. And in La Nina, the northwest tends to be very wet, and lots of cold air blankets up across western Canada. The impact for Florida this year, no El Nino, wildfires could be 